Oh, good morning, good morning. Excuse me while I sigh quite a bit. I just finished my Thanksgiving Day dinner and I'm stuffed. No pun intended. We had turkey, we had dressing, we had rolls, we had cranberry sauce, we had olives, we had ham, sweet potatoes, which I did not eat, will not eat. Um, macaroni and cheese, pumpkin pie. Seems like there was something else in there. Part of it I made and part of it, the park here catered it and you could order a plate and we did and it was actually very good um the turkey was delicious and better than i could have cooked and the my husband said the sweet potatoes were good i don't eat sweet potatoes and i don't eat any orange vegetables <laughs> um what else I supplemented some stuff. My sister will eat turkey. She will not eat dressing. She will not eat sweet potatoes. She ate a roll and macaroni and cheese. So I knew, and ham. So I knew her eating issues. She just doesn't like food. So oh, better than she used to be. But, um, so she's not like me. <laughs> so anyhow, and our weather is iffy. The sun's trying to come out, but it's not doing a really good job. I bought this pen at the dollar store here. And I don't think it's bright enough to even use. It's not. You can't even see it. But that was a good thing. It was a dollar because it just went in the trash. All right. I've got scraps here for my scrap paper to make later. Which I have been keeping up with that, pretty much. I've got a couple pieces here. That I need to put some paint on and maybe some stamps. Um, Alright, so today, our... Oh, you know what? That mic can go right there. And I need a little piece right there. Our topic is... Oh, no, let's use this, because then I could put it in both places. A tradition that this lady does on her Thanksgiving afternoon, after everybody is stuffed, she takes everybody for a carriage ride, and it's a tradition. So, we have that to work with today. But this scenery here is gorgeous. So, we're going to use this background as the backdrop of our carriage. Oh, dear. There's, that's good enough. Maybe I'll rip these in two pieces. Um... Get these people and these people. There we go. Covered up the people that were here and their names and everything and the advertising. Maybe I can supplement this for with their feet a little bit. Glue that down. And then I'm really not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas, people. Um, it has been really fun doing this one. And I'm doing it to the end of the month. Oh, tomorrow, today for you. East Coast time. I'm not sure when. Um, I haven't been on my computer this morning very much. You know you're getting old when the Thanksgiving Day Parade, most of the people in it, you don't even know who they are. <laughs> that happened this year. Well, it's been happening for a few years now. But today, I was like, I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Okay. Now, because we have these two other colors here, I'm going to put a little bit of this one up here somewhere. There. 
Okay, let's glue all that down. I'm not sure. You know what? I might put a slit right here and put my journaling coming out from under there. But we could talk about the scenery. We could talk about my ancient carriage. And it's an antique and been restored by um, some of the um, equestrian people at Williamsburg in um, Virginia. And it's a beautiful carriage, but I have trails on my property here that are alongside some other trails. There's a trail system and mine are part of it. The trails through my property are part of it. And it's beautiful in the fall, of course, even at the end of fall. Um, So that's what the journaling is going to be about. And this is supposed to just blend in the background. And you can see the mountains, the beautiful river. Put a split right there. I have a yes. I can use blue paper. Tomorrow is some behind the scenes of what happened during this month. But today it's all about the afternoon carriage ride, which is the perfect antidote to a full stomach. If I can get this to come through. I'm afraid to um, go really hard on this. Hmm. Ooh, I might use the glamour. trim this down just a smidge. So I hope everybody in the United States had a nice Thanksgiving. We did. Quiet. The three of us. My sister, my husband, and I. Um, our granddaughter's coming here next weekend. She's in Charleston with her other grandmother and her aunts and uncles and her mom. Courtesy of us. <laughs> in a resort for a couple days down there because they have very hectic lives. No, they don't. <laughs> okay, I made a tiny bit of a slit. I don't want to cut any more out of this, but this paper had a white undertone to it. I don't want the white to show. Okay, so now I need to put a piece of paper back here. I think I'm just gonna rip one of these in half. Take this back here, and then I can stick my journaling up through here. Yeah. Oh, I told you I was gonna sigh. I think everybody downstairs is taking naps. <laughs> I came up here to do this. The, the sun is trying to come out here. Um, it's not cold, cold. It's supposed to be in the low 60s. Um, but it's, a, it's damp. It's been overcast and foggy and cloudy for the last couple days. It rained not last night, but the night before. Oops, I don't want that to show the night before, which I didn't even hear. But, um, and I'm not doing Black Fridays. Oh, I started to tell you. Okay, 
by bun. She's doing another advent and they go on sale tomorrow, today for you. I don't know when. I have If she's said anything on her Patreon, I don't know yet. But I'm probably not supposed to tell anyhow because the Patreon people get first dibs. And some people get a little territorial about all that. So it's not my place to say. She's advertised it on her YouTube channel. But she just hasn't given out a time yet. Okay. So now I have a pocket, but it's not very deep. It's about two and a half inches. So I might do I like the blue better or the these little things I've used quite a few blue. I think I like the green. I've, the blue is really thin. The yellow is really thin. The pink. Where is the pink? Huh. I don't even know where the pink. Oh, here's the pink. The pink is really thin. And the green is the thickest one. But I've used quite a bit of it up. Which was the goal. Alright, so two and a half inches. I think I'm going to cut the holes off. I don't think I've kept holes on any of it. Although too late now. I was going to say I could put a cord. Well, then it would stick out the bottom. That wouldn't work. Okay. And I pretty much have kept my journaling to this size of a piece of paper. Oh my goodness, it almost blends in with the flooring of this deck. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Not intentional, but you gotta love it when things like that happen. I'm gonna put this little margin that came off of one of these pieces here. I'm gonna put it right here. Just like that. Although I really don't need it that big, do I? Maybe like that. I wish I had a stapler here. I don't know what happened to it. I think there's some stuff down in my printer box that I have not unpacked. Which I haven't even unpacked the printer. It was so bad last year. It's not a very expensive one at all. Not like the one at home, which is my husband's. <laughs> but I think there's some stuff in the box. Let's see, we left home on the Tuesday after the 5th. So it was 6th, 7th. I think we left home on the 8th. Yeah, because I went to visit a friend on Monday who has advanced COPD and has gone on hospice. Um, and we're going home. We, we will have been here an entire month. We're going home on the 5th of December, of December. And my husband's been here almost the whole time, which is unusual. He comes and goes, but he's really slow right now. His um, job is seasonal. Pretty much need your liquor licenses around here in the summer <laughs> and um that's what he does so amongst other stuff to do with alcohol licensing and if you get in trouble he deals with that that's what supports my youtube channel <laughs> my my uh, youtube channel is supported by alcohol <laughs> that doesn't sound right Never mind. You don't need to know that. Okay. I think I'm going to write my... What What else do I want to do here, though? I wish I had a carriage. I do not. Although... Oh, I have to show you this book I got. I got it at the dollar store. The dollar... Tree. Which is $1.25 now. But... 
it was written in 2019. Um, the grandmother wrote it and the grandfather illustrated it. And it's called Drawing for Looking Back, Life Was Beautiful, but Drawings for My Grandchildren on Instagram. Grandpa Chan and Grandma Marina. It is so beautiful. This They wrote all these stories to their grandchildren. I mean, in the the they've lived in different parts of the world. They lived in South America. They lived in Korea. They lived in New York. And there's just beautiful watercolors. A lot of watercolors mostly, but I doubt if there's a carriage. But I mean, oh, it's just, it's broken down into seasons and different stories from different parts of the world, wherever they were for their grandchildren. It's the sweetest thing. But I know there's no, I looked at it yesterday. There's no um, carriages in here, I'm quite certain. Looking at Andy Warhol pictures when they lived in New York at the Museum of Modern Art. Talking about a stray cat in their neighborhood. I mean, just the sweetest things. Going to visit Windsor Castle. Grandma's graduation picture. She was... The grandfather was in... Military service and a missile unit in Busan. Is that China? I'm not sure. Korea? I should know that, but I don't. Sorry. I mean, look at this. That's beautiful. Santa Claus is skiing. Uh, it's just a beautiful book. I wish there was a, I'm um, talking about Korean K-pop stuff. What else did I get? That's it. That's it. I need a carriage. <sighs> Maybe I could stamp carriage ride. My back, my back is really bad this whole week. Hmm. I'm thinking. I could stamp carriage ride. Just let the background do all the talking. I might do that. I like that idea. So what else is happening here? Not much. My sister and I are going to possibly decorate our Christmas tree tomorrow <laughs> or tonight. I don't know. Um. <gasps> A little fragile. Okay. I mean, need to get these right. That's going to be wrong. Let's go like that. See? This is a very slow process because I do this all wrong. But. These stamps are in really bad shape. No disrespect to Amy Tangerine. But this is the best way I use them, too. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. And I always say I never teach. How do you spell carriage? 
Oh dear. Have I already spelled it wrong? Oh. I have not spelled it wrong. I always panic when I'm stamping. But I'm going to try to do this wackadoodle like Allie does sometimes. A G E. Whoops. Oh, ha, huh, two A's together. G. Sorry, this is so slow. But. I kind of like this. It's a little funky. Carriage ride R Okay. R I Stamp pad is pretty juicy. I think I got it new last year for here. Hmm. This will take days to come off. Perhaps I should clean these. I say that every time I use these. Don't I, Curti? Okay. I really like that. Kind of abstract. Okay, now to do. Oh, yo, yo, yo. The, the journaling, which is about what I said. Um, the tradition of the carriage ride, the beautiful trails in the park close to my house, the scenery. And it gives everybody a time to rest their stomachs before we have dessert. Right? Right. All right, that's what I'm going to write. Um, I think I'm going to use this pen today. All right, I fixed, finished my journaling. So I'm going to read it to you. Carriage ride. A tradition started years ago. After turkey and fixings, we walk down to my barn, hop on an antique horse-drawn carriage, and go for a ride. The scenery is nothing short of majestic with the last of the fall leaves sprinkling down the clip-clop of the horse's hooves in the compacted dirt and warm wool blankets to keep us warm. My team of horses love to get out and go. My carriage is from the 1840s, shiny black ebony stain on soft oak wood. I found this carriage in an old barn down the road and had artisans at Williamsburg, Virginia restore it. It was a special collaboration with the University of Virginia and Williamsburg and me. All the horses' bridles were retooled just like the originals found while at a study at the Smithsonian. A lot of special attention was paid to this whole setup. It is still a part of a teaching retreat each summer at Colonial Williamsburg. So if we go, so off we go to check and see if any nearby wildlife are taking naps after their Thanksgiving meals. Fun, 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 fun. I, that's so pretty. This has really been a lot of fun. I mean, I am loving this book, loving it. Loving it, loving it. And now we have, these are the turkey diaries that I made up before Halloween. Mm -hmm. This is how long I've been working on this. 
just because I had that idea. When I got it, when I have an idea, I got to write it down. So we've done all of these and we just finished that and we just filmed that. And now we have, um, no, I'm sorry. I'm one day behind still because I screwed up my days. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six more days to go. Is that right? I think so. But I just did it and procreate. I added a turkey because I think I might end up putting this in, in my Hobonichi as a reminder of what I did. And then I had this to go in here, which are little tiny pictures that I printed. This is supposed to be blank. It's supposed to be over here. In fact, I wonder if we could do this. Because when I first did it, I had my day screwed up. As one often does. But there's, there's pantry and stove cleaning and bird watching and um, the china I chose and meal planning and my invitations and my spa day, a fall tour, currants, apple cider, mushroom farm, getting my firewood delivery. What was our flower delivery? from Bitsy, the bison, oh, right here. Um, spa day for the pets, just how I pick out my meal. I mean, my meal, my outfit. Here's the carriage ride right here. It's so, so much fun. So much fun, silliness, but a lot of fun. And I'm really having a good time doing this. And each little page has got something a little different. I like that one though. It's got something a little different on each one. Oh, these two are so pretty. December might take a turn like this. I'm not sure. I'm gonna do my December daily different. Oh, there's Bitsy the Bison. Her name is really, what did I say it was? Bison Blooms is the flower shop. Buster, but they call him Bitsy because he's so tiny. Not really. <laughs> that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I like that one too. I like that one too. There's the fall tour. Oh, I like that one too. I don't know how I'm going to do December actually, but anyhow, a lot of fun. Thank you guys for being here all the time. And we still have a few more days to go. So come back tomorrow. Let's see what we get up to. A little behind the scenes on a couple things and then another adventure to end the month thanks for watching see you all tomorrow bye